What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Eagle and today we are going to be talking about World of Warcraft. Um, more importantly we're going to be talking about um, blacksmithing which is uh, one of WoW's uh, crafting professions that you can take. One of two. Um, it requires materials produced uh, with another profession uh, which is mining. Um, so when you take blacksmithing, you, it is also recommended to take the profession mining. Otherwise you're going to be spending a lot of gold and it's not going to, not going to be beneficial to what you're needing. Uh, blacksmithing can turn, uh, many of the metal metals that you get in the game into armor and weapons. Um, unlike some of the more magical professions in the game, blacksmithing's function is more direct fashion, while other professions like enchanting or alchemy provide subtle buffs to your character, blacksmithing hands you the item you need. Uh, However, aside from uncommon, rare, or sometimes epic armor and weapons, that's all that blacksmith really offers. Uh, I can give you some really powerful gear for both PvE and PvP, um, and, it, and it is also used towards in-game items. Uh, when it comes to blacksmithing in classic World of Warcraft, uh, there's two types of blacksmithing that you want to look at. Uh, the first one is armorsmith and the second one is weaponsmith. So in armorsmith it's basically um, it's basically what it is. You'll need at least one in your guild because this the armorsmith is very uh, vital to the guild of what he can make. Um, he makes several of the best in slot gear for your tanks, DPS and everything, so it's very recommended to have at least one of those in your guild. Um, for Weaponsmith, it gets a little, it gets a little crazy, because unlike Armorsmith, Weaponsmithing has three different uh, uh, specs that you can go into to choose from. Uh, and they're broken down into Axsmith, Hammersmith, and sm and Swordsmith. Uh, each one making uh, making their their own type of type of gear. Uh, we're going to be focusing on more of uh, Axsmith because that's the profession that I took. Um, but we'll talk a little bit more about the other the other. Uh, specific uh, sub-professions. So, to start off, uh, blacksmithing uh, in general has its base smithing utilities that you can make. With every blacksmith making different miscellaneous gear and um, small little weapon uh, enchants or boot enchants like Mythical Spurs makes you uh, ride faster. So you'll be able to have those as a base blacksmither. And then you go and you pick up your um, your specification of what spec you want to go into. Some pros and cons about blacksmithing before you uh, get ready to start. Uh, the uh, the first first bad thing about blacksmithing I would say is the drop rate if you need arcane crystals to make arcanite bars well the chances of you getting an arcane crystal are very low uh, you have to, it's like three percent a chance to get out of each uh, ore or hit that you take out of the ore. 
So it, it takes a long time to gather the materials. Which also leads into the to the next con. Blacksmithing can cost you a lot of gold really fast. You can't find that item and you just go and buy it off the auction house. It can be ten times of what it should be worth because it takes so long to get. Um, for example, arcane crystals, when the server first started out, uh, arcane crystals were very low in the auction house. However, now, because everyone's trying to get arcanite bars, arcane crystals are through the roof on the prices because there's such a high demand. The third con for blacksmithing would have to be uh, the competition. You are competing with other miners and other blacksmithers on the server, selling an item while this guy's selling it less, trying to mine that, that certain ore, well, someone else is trying to mine that too. Um, so it just leads to less materials, which means more spending, just means spending more time uh, trying to complete what you need. However, there are some positives to blacksmithing. Uh, <laughs> if you, depending on, for, for me, I took axe smithing. So I'm going, uh, come phase three, I'm going to be selling a high-end epic weapon called Nightfall, uh, which gives a chance on hit a spell ta spell damage taken by the target is increased for by 15% for 5 seconds. Um that is going to be one of the best in slots. It's most likely going to I would think go to some type of DPS that can wield axe, probably a ret paladin or uh if you really wanted to, I guess a a, a warrior. But this just makes it to where when you hit it and you get that chance Everyone's spell damage is going to do 15% more damage, which means faster clears and uh, more damage in the raid. Uh, so selling those high ends leads into uh, you're going to make money. You're gonna, if you spend money, you are still going to make money. no doubt. So you you'll have gold. Um, it just might take a while to get. Uh, the next uh, positive to being a blacksmith, you can make your own gear. Um, starting off as a low level, you can actually just craft all your own stuff. This will also level up your blacksmithing, and you get better gear out of it. Um, unlike uh, enchanting, they just enchant their armor to make it make it a little stronger, where you you get the actual uh, actual item that you need and that you can make. Um, so we we talked a little bit about the nightfall. So if we look here, uh, Axmiths get two two weapons. Nightfall comes out in phase three, and the annihilator, which is another great weapon because it takes the enemy's armor down by 200. So you can get up to 600 reduced armor on a target, which is uh, really, really good. Um, so that's what the Axsmith gets um, coming up in Phase 3. They get some other things like in Phase 5, but that's later on. Uh, you can see here, Armorsmiths get to make the Lionheart Helm, which in classic wow makes a lot of money you have the chance and it drops you haven't cho chosen your uh, specific profession i would choose armor smith if it dropped um that's that's another great way to decide what you want to go uh, i would wait and see what drops and then go from there they can also make the titanic leggings is another really really good uh, piece of gear um, 
it also will make a lot of money. Uh, Hammersmiths get to make Persuader and Ebon on Hand. Uh, Swordsmiths get to make Blackguard and Sageblade. Sageblade will end up being really, really good later on. Um, this, I will post the links that I use in the description. Um, this goes through all the all of the uh, items that blacksmiths can make uh, from epics all the way to rays as you can see here. This is just a great link to have if you're trying if you're just trying to get a blacksmith to make you something this will be a great link as well to look at because it tells you the materials it tells you what level blacksmither can make it and it tells you the stats of the of the weapon so this is a great link to check out I would definitely check it out so uh, a couple one more there's one more item that I want there's one more weapon that I want to show you that um, that is a little different um, so the Solfron hammer even though it is a hammer or a mace is they like to say they like to say hammersmiths are mace smiths it's just hammers uh, the Solfron hammer uh, can actually be learned by any blacksmither as long as you're uh, blacksmithing 300. So as long as you're blacksmithing 300, you can learn this. And there's um, there's a quest that you have to do to get it, but any blacksmither can go and learn it. So to to get to that level, go here. Uh, you're going to need. Um, you're going to need to know about the Thorium Brotherhood as a blacksmither. Um, any alchemist or tailoring or leatherworking will probably also know about Thorium Brotherhood. But if you're blacksmithing, be sure to start saving up materials for this. Also, be sure to um, level this up as in as at Exalted come Phase 3 is when the big items for the professions start dropping. Uh, I'll put this link in the description. You can follow uh, how to level these, how to level uh, the reputation up easy. Um, from Honor to Exalted is going to be a little more difficult because it requires raid materials. Uh, but th it also this link also tells you uh, how to get the Sulfron hammer and what you need to do. This one right here. So this is a great, also another great link to check out. So uh blacks so blacksmithing uh to level it up there's several things that you can do um this is the one this is the guide that I used that I followed um it went pretty well leveled me up to 300 uh it tells you all of the materials that you're going to need which is great um and all these are fairly precise. Uh, it also tells you where all the training trainers are. Uh, it just walks through what levels you need at what, where you need it, and what you need to do. It even gives you hints for armor smithing stuff. So this is one of the guides I would definitely check out if you're starting off on uh, leveling or in the middle and you just don't know where, what to do this is something I would check out uh, the next link for your for your secondary 
profession, um, like I said, you would you should choose mining. Mining is going to get you everything that you're going to need. This guide walks you through 1 to 300, tells you where everything's at, where you can get everything at. So you can like, so tin and silver ore, ash and veil. Uh, it just shows you the best places to mine that certain ore. It even tells you, you know, how to go. Okay, so 290, you have, you're you going to have to do specific things to get to 300. I think. Um, it's, these are one of the, the greatest guides that I've found and I just really liked. Um, you can see that they have other... They have Battle for Azeroth guides. They have several other classic, um, classic guides that you can follow for leveling stuff. Great, great link. I would definitely check it out. So something I should point out um, when choosing uh, the specific profession you want to go. So you've already chosen blacksmith. You're leveling it, and you're deciding if you want to take. Armorsmith or Weaponsmith. This is a point of no return that you should know about. Whatever specific profession that you take, you're going to have to stay with it. At least you're going to have to stay with it in Classic. Now, there's a way that you can change. However, it's not, it's not going to be the most enjoyable. Uh, to change your profession, you're going to have to unlearn. Uh, you're going to have to unlearn that specific profession, so you're going to have to completely unlearn blacksmithing. So you totally unlearn it, and then you go back and relearn it, and you're at level one. You're going to have to level that that profession back up to 300, or uh, I believe it's 270. To get to get your to to be able to start quests for either armor smithing or weapon smithing. Same thing with the sub professions for weapon smithing. You want to change? Well, you're gonna have to restart blacksmithing to to do that. Um, I believe in later later releases they made it possible to where you can switch back and forth however in classic that's not the case that's something that you should know that if you're wanting to change the profession you're gonna have to start over well that's gonna do it on this episode of lemurs corner i hope i gave you a little bit of insight into leveling blacksmithing and also partially leveling uh... mining uh, if you have any questions about about it be sure to leave it in the in the comments, uh, and I will do my best to answer you and give you the the most accurate answer I can. Uh, if you want to see other professions, if you want us to talk about other professions, uh, drop that in the comments too. Uh, we'll be we would be down to go uh, go in and talk about other professions people want to learn about. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.